Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about what is in my son's little wrist trip bag slash his little travel bag. So if you don't know what that is, essentially it's just like a little bag like this size that I take along with me on my travels or if we go to the restaurant. And it's a little entertainment bag that keeps my son occupied for a little amount of time so that if you're eating your dinner, you can eat your dinner more slowly and relax a bit more. Or if you're in the car and he's starting to get bored towards the end of the journey, I can whip this little bag out and give him something out of it and it'll keep him entertained for just a little bit longer. If you haven't been to this channel before, my name is Abigail and I make videos on here about intentional Christian parenting. I have a son called Samuel who is two and I've also got another little baby on the way that's due in February 2021. And without further ado, let's get on into what's in my little travel restaurant bag for Samuel. So the bag itself is quite a decent sized bag if you look at it compared to the size of my head. It's a decent sized bag and it's got a zip up and it's quite a nice kind of like soft feeling bag. But what this is is essentially is a makeup bag. So I got given this by one of my friends for Christmas and it originally came with like makeup in it. So if you know at Christmas they do these deals where you can get these little kind of bags and they're full of like makeup y kind of girly stuff. That's what this is. So that's where I got that from. It's like the perfect size to fit all Samuel's things inside it. And I'll just open it up and I'll show you what comes in it. I will say that it's full but it's not full to the brim. So um, when I'm about to go to the restaurant or to go in the car I will put some snacks in this as well as like an extra little activity if you, activity, if you will. So the first thing inside of here I will show you is a little purse or a little wallet. This is a little wallet that was Philip's and he's donated it to Samuel very kindly. Um, and what it, it's basically just an activity for him to pull all the stuff inside the wallet out. So I've just filled it with playing cards, I filled it with like old gift cards and he just likes to go through this and pull it out. Um, this is kind of a quite a good Montessori activity because as you know it's real life because it's an actual wallet and it's like playing with essentially what is essentially fake money. So all the activity is, is he pulls all the things out, you can put something in a little button pocket. So if you want to do something similar you just find like a, an old purse or an old wallet, put some stuff in it and it'll spend a good few minutes, five minutes or so, depending on the age of your child, pulling all the stuff out and looking at it and being interested in it. So that's the first thing in there. The second thing is pull it out here for you it's just a big sheet of stickers so these are really really cheap stickers that I got off of Amazon you can get like a thousand for like two pounds or something so they're just like they're literally just stickers to pull off stick anywhere if he's in the car seat stick it on himself stick it in the car seat or if he's at a restaurant you can put it on his tray or on his little book I'm going to show you in a minute so yeah really really cheap stickers we also have reusable stickers which you can use which are probably a little bit better for the environment and stuff so you could take like your reusable stickers. So it's just like a sheet of stickers. Kids love stickers, so that's a good one. The next thing I've got in here is one of these little, what are they called? Like a little magnetic. You'd like to hear the song, what I've got in mind. <sighs> she gave me a heart attack. Alexa, stop. I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh my goodness, the Alexa just went on and gave me the fright of my life. <laughs> okay, so this, while my heart calms down. This is the next activity we have. It's a little magnet. What's it called? I can't think what these are called. There's like an expensive version of them. You get a little pen with them. This one was literally from Poundland. It was so cheap. And so the little pen broke because it was that cheap. So what I have is just like a little magnet here. It says God cares about you. Or just two. It's a little magnet and you can use, it does the same thing. Simon just like scribbles on it and then enjoys pushing this back and forth. Um, you can get obviously more expensive versions of this and it works a bit better but this one was a good size to put in a little bag so I've got that and a little magnet substitute for the pen and that'll look a little kind of really easy mess for you drawing activity so that's what I have next then I have a threading cheese so if you don't know not seen one of these before this is a very kind of simple Montessori activity it is a little wooden cheese and the activity is kind of self-explanatory. You put the little the little mouse pen thing through there and it's like a threading. You just thread it through there and that's just, that's the whole activity. So this is quite good because this is quite a nice small size. You can wrap it up and take it with you in the car or the restaurant as well. The next thing I have is one of these books. 
this is an indestructible book you can get these on amazon as well i'll try and link some of the stuff down for you down below for you guys i got this one out of Lidl's or aldi's i think so they sell them sometimes but you can get it on amazon and all it is it's a book so my son loves books but if he's unsupervised with the book like say in the back of the car then i'm a bit worried he's going to rip it because he's still kind of at that stage so this one's just like the colors and it's an indestructible book so you can do stuff with it you can try and rip it obviously i'd probably be able to rip it eventually but if you do that see it goes against my nature to do that to a book but if you do that it doesn't rip it's 100 percent wipeable baby proof tear proof non-toxic so it's a really fab little activity to have there and you don't have to worry about it getting wrecked then i have similarly to that i have these little flashcards i had that came with a little set and it's just numbers and then on the back is like rubber ducks and leaves and you can just look at the pictures and flip through that and that takes a bit more time as well so little flashcards the next thing is a little car i mean a little tiny car you can't go wrong you can ride it off your leg on the car or you can on the restaurant tray you can like put it on the table plenty of things you can do with a little car then i have this little activity here which i actually made this is one of those plastic what are they called plastic kids like baby pouch things not pouch things but baby containers you put your baby food in so i had some of these left over when samuel was little and all i did was this with this one was cut a hole in the lid got to fill up with my husband to cut a hole in the lid for the baby and then inside it is some poker chips and the activity is very simply to put the poker chips through the little slot in there depending on the age of your child you could make this more difficult or less difficult this is Samuel's favorite favorite activity every time i bring this bag out it's such a hit and he's at the stage now where he's quite good at it so he's still prep he's practicing taking the lid off taking the little things out putting the lid on the whole kind of process and then putting them back to samuel adores this the only thing i would say is maybe don't do it in the car because they're small pieces and if your child's still at the stage like mine is putting things in his mouth that's probably not a good idea but at the restaurant this is a big big hit Next up, I have one of these, you know, you can go to Poundland or somewhere really cheap and you get really, really cheap colouring books. That's what this is. You get like a three pack for a pound or so or like less. And it's got the really cheapy paper inside. It's just got like little things. So what I do with this is I give him um, stickers and he can stick the stickers in there. I've also got a pack of crayons, like the really chunky, chunky crayons that you get. And you like crayons in that for a little while. This is a good activity for children to be into colouring. Samuel so, I mean, isn't so much, but every now and again he'll pull this out and have a little look through at the pictures and then like colour a little bit. So that's another activity. That's a really small, handy size that book. Then there is this. This is just something that was small enough, so I chucked it in there, but it's essentially a little a little kind of rattle musical noise um, activity. This is perfect for the car, maybe not so much for the restaurant, but Again, another activity that will take up a little bit, a few minutes of time and keep them entertained for a little bit longer. Then I have this activity, which is, so this, if you recognise this, this is actually a Lizerl Skin Tonic Spritzer bottle. But it's a little bottle with a really small hole in the top. I've cleaned it out all nicely. And the activity for this is to use these little lollipop sticks, which again, you can get at a cheap, cheap craft store or like Poundland. And the activity is just to put it's like a variation on this activity, I guess. You just put your little sticks inside here. You can talk about colours if you want. Them. And you just put them in there. And then you have to get them back out again. You shake it like that, it comes back out. Very simple activity. And then again, with the lollipop sticks, what I did was I made another activity, which is I got these little Velcro dots. I'll see if you can zoom you in properly. Zoom in. Um these little velcro dots see and they have like the rough end and then they have the softer end and what you do is you just stick them on the, each of the ends of the lollipop sticks and then you can spend time putting them together pulling them apart as they get older and they can make them into little shapes and it's just another simple simple activity that's like another use for these little lollipop sticks which you have, might have anyway in your bag so that's what that activity is and then i've only got a couple things more but i've got this this is just a keep dropping it. This is just a thing that my son loves. My friend, um, like a year ago, I think, gave him her little sparkly hair bubble to keep him entertained, and he loves these things. He puts them on his hands, he puts them in his hair, he flicks them. I don't know how you can get so much entertainment out of a little band thing, 
but that's what he does he loves this band thing so much so i've got i've got like a whole pack and i just keep them on hand for him to like play with and then i have this little tin um that's, i could i give i lent to samuel for this it's just a little tin and you go inside it and what's meant to be in here is not in here where is my guy basically i have a little a little yellow stretchy man that i put in here but you can put anything you can put like anything that fits a little donkey or a little or a little lego man but basically like a little man that they can also play with along with the car so he opens this and he puts the little man in he takes the little man out he puts the lid back on it's like a little short activity but this whole bag keeps him entertained i would say for maybe an hour depending on if you're interacting with them or not keeps him entertained for quite a long while because as you know a two-year-old needs a lot of different activities to keep entertained if they're sitting in one spot for quite a while. So I hope this video was helpful for you if you are going on a trip or if you're going to the restaurant and you're looking for some ideas of what to put into a little bag for your child. These are the things that I have for my son. This obviously changes a lot um, depending on their age, depending on what they're into, but I hope this just gave you some kind of ideas. I'll link some videos here for you to check out if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye guys!